what? I think it's time to find another wig to wear for my skits. This one's getting old and a little itchy. Well, time to get my money and buy a new wig. Who took my last $20 bill? Just relax, just relax. You have a secret stash of money. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Let's go get that. I kept it in this glove. And it's not in here. Who took it? Don't worry. You have a secret, secret stash of money. <laughs> Go get that, okay. Who took my secret, secret stash of money out of the safe in my bathroom? Well, I guess it wasn't that hard to find. Don't worry. You have a secret, secret, secret stash of money, and no one knows what that is. I'm gonna go get that. Took it! It was hidden deep in the forest. Well, there was a fire not too long ago there. Come on! Well, there's always my mom's wallet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Welcome to Obviously True Stories with me, Chris, in a house that is obviously mine. <laughs> okay, here is a true story, obviously. I was mistaken for a doctor. What? Let's begin. For a project I was working on, I was required to wear this face mask, right? Outside, someone came to me and said, Dr. Ely, we need you in the emergency room. Clearly, I'm not a doctor, because... Why would I waste my life being a doctor? And before you could say artichoke, I was rushed to the emergency room. They had me do surgery. Do I look like I can do surgery? Yeah, he's doomed. But I was not going to let this man die. It's time for me to be a surgeon. Surgeon. You know what I'm trying to say. And I've also seen many, many karate shows. So I hit his belly once, cut karate chop, and his body rearranged itself. And he lived. I'm a surgeon. And yeah, I was given the keys to the city and I met the president because I'm just amazing. Now I'm gonna leave. This is my house. This is my house. <coughs> Goodbye. See you on another episode of Obviously True Stories with me, Chris. <laughs>
Did I miss anything? <laughs>